Hi there, I'm Rebecca and a really warm welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin Becky. In this week's video, we're going to have a look at my bonsai from nursery stock, crab apple, Tina. Let's get started. So I bought this tree back in November, I think, of 2020. Might have been a little bit earlier than that. That was when I went down to see my dad in Southampton. I didn't do anything to it until March of 2021. This, which actually was a lot bigger, but I couldn't get it in the car. This was meant to be £35, which already, that's... That's a pretty good price. It was reduced to ten pounds. Ten pounds! Ten pounds! And I thought, all right, it's got lots of straight bits and it's it's got some weirdness, but for ten pounds, I could I could have a go. And the basic work then was just to take it out of its pot, have a look at the roots, work out where the best sort of ground plane would be, where the roots began to flare without losing any of the trunk girth. And then pruning the roots, which were pretty chunky. <laughs> and then I left it alone again until July of 2021. And last year, all it got was a little bit of keeping the long growth tamed back a little bit. I knew she was going to flower. Oh my goodness, so many flowers. And such a beautiful soft scent. I can see that the cut paste I applied is starting to crack so it might be worth just having a quick look at the, the wound and just sort of repaste them if need be. But I don't think I want to do anything else to it today. So I think I'd like to go in and just refresh the margin on this scar, see if I can get it to keep rolling. There's another scar a bit lower. Yeah, so it looks like the callus has stopped rolling. I have got myself some carving tools, <laughs> which I admit I don't know how to use. Ooh. Uh, but I'm going to give them a try. So we're just trying to get back to that nice bright green cambial layer, which is where the callus is going to roll from. As somebody who doesn't really trust themselves with sharp things, I um, I only got these knives yesterday, and I just do want to be a little bit cautious with them. It said they were sharpened, but mm. I just 
want to see if I can reduce the interior of this at all. some cut paste on there just to allow it to continue to heal and then we'll try and come up and look at the other one There's one more cut here where I took the leader out and that's peeling away really well. You don't have to take wound paste off. You only do that once you are starting to see it crack off or it falls off altogether. That's because it will by then have done its work. If the cut paste is completely fine, then you just leave it. So you can see the bright green that I'm exposing here, that is the cambium and that is the bit that is going to form tissue over the top of this. I would say that wound is already looking smaller which is great. So I'd like to come back and have a look at her a bit later in the year once she's put some growth on and um, we can see how she's developing. Maybe we can start thinking about some wire, get some movement into those branches. The best time to prune would be as soon as the first flower fades. Not as soon as all of the flowers have faded, the first one. Um, I... I think I might leave her to do her thing. Uh, I won't let her set any fruit though, I don't think. It, that would be taking too much energy away from her. I want her to make roots and tissue and grow into a bonsai tree, not just be a pretty flowering, fruiting thing in a pot. Right, well, that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to me here on YouTube and until next time, bye.